Hi friends, welcome back. We're talking today about triangle congruency using corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent in the geometry world. This is known as CP, CTC. So corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. This means if we have two triangles that are congruent, then there's, their corresponding parts are also congruent. Meaning like uh, one of the, this, this side is congruent to this side, this, this bottom side is congruent to this bottom side. Uh, it seems obvious, but a lot, as I'm sure you're discovering in proofs, is just stating the obvious. And so we're going to do just that. We're going to use a proof here. So grab your notebook, write this down. All right. As we've been doing these triangle proofs, we've been going off of my notes uh, where we do things like the givens and then our definitions and obvious but not givens and then side, side, sides and then CPCTC if necessary. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at this. We're given SV is congruent to UT. SV is congruent to UT. All right, mark that down. ST is congruent to UV. ST, UV. Excellent. What we're trying to do is prove that angle S is congruent to angle U. Well, let's take a look here. Uh, we've got our givens. So the next part of this is we have to do any definitions, midpoint, bisector, perpendicular. I don't see any of those. So let's skip that and go on to our obvious but not givens, things like vertical angles and reflexive property. And it looks like we have a reflexive property right here. One, two, three, we can say uh, VT is congruent to TV. Now you'll notice I swapped those around. That's because this congruency statement is gonna be, we wanna do like the one dash to the two dash. So it's gonna be TUV. So that means VT. And over here we go VST TV. So you'll see that you have to swap those around to make that congruency statement work. Okay. So for number two, why are those congruent? That is the reflexive property, reflexive property. Next one, okay, we have number three. Actually, at this point, if you look at it, we can declare these triangles are congruent. And as I said, I'm gonna do um, VST is congruent to TUV, triangle TUV. Why are those congruent? Because we, have said side, side, side. Uh, okay, now that we know that these triangles are congruent, the, uh, because they're congruent, that means angle U is congruent to angle S. It also means angle T here is congruent to this angle V here. Um, it means that this angle V here is congruent to this angle T over here. So it means all those parts are going to be congruent. So all we have to say is, Angle S is congruent to angle U, and that is because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Some teachers make students write that all the way out, uh, particularly if it's not making sense to you. I think writing it out helps, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you have any other questions, let your teacher know. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.